Uh, hi teacher, um, welcome to our third video of this assignment. So in this video, we will talk about what are the show times uh, page, uh, seat booking page, food ordering page, uh, payment confirmation, payment stripe, transaction history, as well as receipt and booking time limit functionality. So let's get into it. So first of all, you uh, let's say the customer want to book the ticket. But before you book the ticket, you have to activate your account in, in, in your email. So let's say you didn't activate your account and click on the booking time. And then he will just show the message uh, to, to say that you have to activate your account first. So let's go to our email and activate our account. Um, account activation. Okay, and then let's click on this link. And then you click on the activate account. So after you click on the activate account, right, he will verify on uh, the token based on the link, and and the activate he will activate your account on the database. Huh? So because now the warning message is gone, now you can book the ticket. Okay, so let's say you want to book the ticket on Thursday, uh, 11 a.m. So this is our seat booking page. So um, you user can select this uh, seat. Okay. So let's say you feel like enter more than five seat. It will show an error that said that you have to you can only the maximum five seat only. So um, let's say if you have like two user uh um booking the, the 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 ticket. So let's see in the Firefox browser we got another user. So let's say you also want to book the Thursday 11 a.m. Okay, let's say um, if I want to, uh, if the, if the date uh, in here, the data one is booking the ticket in here, and then he click confirm, the data will be recorded in the database. So let's say this one, this user, uh, my, my account also book this seat, then click confirm, you will say that the selected seat has been booked. So uh, it helps to validate the user from uh, simultaneously booking a ticket. So let's say I book in here. Okay, so I click confirm. Okay, and then you navigate to the food ordering page. So in food ordering page, uh, you can navigate uh, which category you want to buy. So let's say I want to buy a popcorn and click on the one. It will show the cut details you have been added. And then the, let's go to soft drink ice lemon tea one. Okay, and then there's this in here. Okay, let's say you satisfy what other drink you already order and then you click confirm so by the way you also don't want to buy also can so let's say you want to go back you click on the, the page here and then like uh, you click on uh, the zero here and then soft drink and then you click on zero okay and then you click confirm you also can no need buy lah. so um, let's try the buy 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 functionality so let's click on one and uh, and then the sourcing uh, one okay then I click confirm then he will show you the 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 movie details and the seat details and there is this uh, what are the price for each seat and what are the price for each uh, uh, food and then you can sort the total let's say you confirm the payment you can click on check out okay so this one is already can gone already so let's close and I open this browser. Okay, she so will show the, the online payment mode. Uh, it will show what are the price and total, total price. So if you want to test, right, we got a uh, uh, three card numbers to test. So one is the 4242, uh, which could help you to success the payment. Another one is need authentication. The card number is like this. And uh, the third one is the sufficient fund, if your card is um, insufficient. So let's test it right away. So let's say we we test it the, the insufficient card number. So the the CVC and all that also you can uh, write whatever you want. The name on card you can write uh, whatever you want also. And then you can click on pay. 
okay, you show that your, your card has sufficient funds. Lah. So let's say if you want to authenticate the number. Lah. Then let's click on pay. Okay, you show the, the authenticate uh, page. So this is just a test. Mark. So you just say uh, you have to just click on the complete in order to succeed the payment. Okay, and then the payment will be successful. So about the 42421, the success payment, also same like authentication, but just without authentication. Okay. So um, in this receipt, uh, we got the, our booking number in here. And then we got can see our details and also the QR code generated in here. So in order to go back to here, lah, okay, so you go to transaction history in your profile here. You can view all the transactions you have been uh, purchased. You can click on the more info to go back to the receipt page. Okay, so we have thought about talk about uh, what are this show time seat booking, food ordering, payment confirmation, payment stripe, and also transaction history receipt. Now let's talk about the booking tab in me. So just now, right, uh, when you are booking the ticket, Um, you might see the bottom right corner right you will see the countdown timer right so let's just adjust adjust the code uh, to 10 seconds to show how how it happened so let's go to here so let's say i i put at seconds instead of uh at minute okay so let's just refresh Yeah, because the loading time already passed the 10 seconds. So that is why uh, it will show the booking time expired and there's this glitch in here. Uh, so let's try that again. Let's put it to 20 seconds. Don't know why my browser was loading so damn long. So uh, let's click on here again. Uh, the time is still clicking on when he is loading the browser. So long okay okay uh, you see uh, three seconds two seconds oh one second okay now um the 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 arrow the alert message will say you have the, the booking time has been expired and then you click on okay uh you you will navigate back to the show time page you cannot uh, book the ticket anymore so yeah that's all for the today's video let's put back in the, the functionality so our default is 10 minutes ah, okay so um um this concludes our video so we will see you in the next video bye bye